We just wrapped up another Inner Circle show at my home here in Malibu. You got the detritus going on in the background there. Let me tell you what happened tonight and what you're about to watch. We had Aaron Davis, Miles Davis' son. We also had Richie Ramon of the Ramones, and we talked about drugs. Do drugs help or hurt genius creativity? Watch now and find out. What was Miles' drug of choice back then? Back when? <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. 60s, <laughs> 50s. I used to go, go ahead, with Chris. him yeah. to, to, <coughs> to score, to get coke and things. Wow. How old were you when you were going to score with him? I was about 10. Wow. wow. And you knew what was going on. They used to give you broken and foil. I yeah. remember the aluminum foil. Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember that I would cry because he would leave and go and be, you know, leave right. for like two or three days. That must have been hard, you know? yeah. And I mean, I'm looking at him like a, you know, he's, he's, he's a superhero to me. Right. So yeah. it was hard for me to see that. Let me ask you a question, Rishi. How about for you? Back mm. in the day, sometimes we would do some forms of mescaline or acid that just open up the envelope and things mm. come to you differently. That doesn't make you a habitual user mm. or think that I can play drums like that on acid. No, I wouldn't even want to do that because mm. I'm not appreciating it. But to go in the studio and lay there in the corner and think of these things and then pick up a bass or pick up a guitar or play the drums or write certain things, I think it, it, it opens up your creativity to a certain right. point. So, so this is my summation before the break, and some of you guys agree. Mm. Drug use can be good, drug abuse, always bad. And always. That's a line. <laughs> I have the fastest right hand, you know, I can jerk off in three seconds. <laughs>